Here, you want a cracker? If I could only just slap you in the face! Or should I start this video? Should I angle it like that? Ooh la la! It's much more attractive this way, huh? Oh, look. Oh, oh, now that's giving me chills. What a way to start a video, just like that. Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty, and I'm Scotty, and happy Easter to all you guys out there. Hope you had a great weekend. I sure did. A lot of fun with the family. Easter egg hunting. Yeah, I'm a little too old for that, but I'm a little too old for this too. Anyway, check it out. What we have here is from our favorite friends, Wanga. Wanga. What you see in front of me is brand new, and it just came out last week. We have it in stock. BrickMeUpScotty.com. Go check it out, see if you want one. What's really neat and exciting about this is that it's actually trying to be a modular city. Like, they actually built a home. Wanga actually has a couple more city versions. I'll get to those later. They're older ones, but this one's brand new, and the great news is, whether or not you buy this from me or not, if you want to buy it from other places, that's totally fine. Or if you have older Wanga sets, I know some of you have the architecture stuff, you can leave me some comments and some feedback on this group because they want the feedback. They want to know what people like and don't like about their sets. And I think that is absolutely awesome because we can make a change. That's right. With the power of this and more reviews, and if you like, subscribe, and comment, I can reach out to them and we can give them feedback tell them what you want to see. Maybe we should ask them to get into modulars because you know, they're, they're kind of doing it with this and they did it with the last architecture hoist style that I did the review on. And if you haven't seen that video, click the link for that. But I'm, I'm hoping with my feedback to them too that they can expand on this. It's got its faults, it's got its good side, but overall, it's a pretty fun build. So here it is. This is Wonga's architecture series, French Country Lodge, number 5311. 1,298 pieces. Now it's very pleasing to the eye. That's the first thing I noticed when I saw the pictures and the images and put it together. And if I just even shift it here and show you, you gotta give them credit. This is pretty cool. It's totally original. Does it look like a French lodge? I don't know. Any French guys out there? You tell me. Now the Hoy style architecture that I did before, there wasn't an interior and it's kind of the same way with this here. This is just an exterior. And I know a lot of you guys just love the exterior part. So you'll have no problems with this except for one small detail that you normally don't see, which I'm about to show you now. But first of all, let's just kind of rotate this so you can kind of see it first here. So it looks so pretty there, here, and we'll turn it to the side, and you don't really see the side advertised too much. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But this is the part I'm talking about. Minor, small detail. Maybe some of you might like it, maybe some of you might not like it. Yeah, it's just open, gaping hole. So I will make sure I tell them I would like to have an option of closing this off, putting off some windows back here. But some of you might actually like this because that means you can put some light to the back here and you can shine it through and, or you can decorate your own LED light. For me, I'd just like to keep it closed off. I think if it just had a wall and window, it would be totally complete. Let's start on the outside first. Here we go. I love the flowers, like the vine thing growing here. That is awesome. And you can probably expand more if you have your own. Keep going this way and you know, Make it like a vineyard, that's really cool. Right here, you got some tables and chairs, and the chairs are raised, thank you. They got some height there. You're not really gonna play with the set, but anyway, it looks more like chairs. And this is probably the only bright yellow that you have on the set, which is nice, it stands out, it's pretty cool. And then you got the staircase that's going up to the second floor. It's totally fine, there's nothing wrong with it. There was a piece missing here, but you know, these things happen, you'll have missing pieces. Don't freak out, normal. Most of the time, they're just common pieces that are missing, or it's a wrong color. I can live with that, can you? Yeah, the cool thing about the street sign here is that it's actually the model number of the set. And I don't know if they do that with all the other ones. I only own two, but it's cool. I like that, I really dig that. I love the tiling, the blue and the gray. That tone of color here is really cool. I like that. You got this little gate here, but what's a little bit funny is that it's not quite to scale for the minifigures. Again, it's an architecture thing. You're not really gonna play with it. You got some gates. And you got the flooring pattern here of the red and brown. Nice contrast. I'm not a color guy, but I like it. Got the roofing here. If I had to describe the set in one word, fragile. Really fragile. You do have to be careful when you put it together. Things will fall off. Um, there's not too much structure. I would feed that comment to them too. I'd be like, there's a little bit of flex in some of these parts. And as long as you don't touch it, you're okay. But there's one piece here in particular. And you see this little awning thing? The end here, it, it pops off really easy. Like it'll just drop, see that? There's no thing here, see? Even if, I, it, if you push it down, the top then becomes really flick. Of course, we all wish it would stay really tight, but again, not to play with. It's okay, it's totally fine. You can just 
push it back up and nothing should fall, I hope. There we go. But when I was building that, that pot kept falling off. And then here you got another sign, but no sticker, no printed sign. Kind of wish there was something else there. I love this kind of offset, how they offset the walls here. These are just pushed up and down. You, you can you can totally, if you are if you have OCD, you can certainly fix that by yourself if you want to just like put it down. And then you got the flower pots here. Pretty cool, I like how they just put the round, this round piece, I don't know what that's called. But see, this is what I was saying, the door right there, the, you see how big it is? And then you come back to here and you see how small that is. It's kind of off scale, but oh well. And then if you look at the windows, like the windows here, you can kind of, push them a little bit. So see, it's one of those things, really fragile. You just gotta put it in place. When you finish the set, kinda go back and fix pieces that you see are, are kinda out of place and just shift them in place and you'll be fine. The big gaping hole, big holy holy hole. Well, the good thing is, is that you can totally customize it, but it would have been nice. I would have found it really nice if they could put some furnishing inside. Would have been nice. The second floor doesn't really come off, but it can. It's only here on the staircase part that it kinda locks down. But if I push it up here, there you go. It's only held by a couple of st a studs here. You see the tiles kind of hang off right there. I guess you can consider it like a modular, but you're not supposed to. I'm guessing that's why they kept the back open. So it's like, oh, you can just leave this on and you can furnish it through the back. And let me finish off the balcony here on the top. If you're doing stop motion, for all you guys doing stop motion stuff, you shoot an action movie here, like a Jackie Chan stunt. The mini figure gets knocked down, goes boom, oh, falls over, it hits the ground. And then just like a Universal Studios ride, it all comes back up and resets. Don't ask me why that is there like that, but it's there like that. And then you have this logo thing. I don't know about this logo thing. I think that's the only thing I would take off and maybe change that to just kind of match this whole thing. Then you have the rooftop. I do like how they offset the, the dark blues or the light blues. One thing though I don't like about this is the parrot. Weird place to put the put a even have a parrot. We don't need a parrot in here. And of course that tile there is dark brown. It was the wrong color, no problem. But they have these little shingles, the roofs here that can come off. They come off really easy. Would have been nicer if they can like secure that a little bit better. So if you're gonna move this around, be careful. Those will fall down like that, as you can see. But it's okay, it's fine. Looks pretty, doesn't it? You saw the vine earlier and you got, you got a couple more leaves that are up here. Then you got the awning, cute. The whole thing's cute. And then you got the two, these two skylines here. I think those are really actually quite an excellent idea. It actually looks really cool with all the windows all opened up. I think I opened them all there already. I can close them all up and show you guys what it looks like closed up. I'll close, just rotate this one more time with it all totally closed up. The rest of the windows and doors and you know spaces like this, totally open. Personally, I think I really like it and I really like this direction that they're going in. Wangay, I'm gonna feed you guys your comments, but I really, really hope that you guys expand on this more and still continue the architecture stuff. I guess a lot of you guys like the architecture. You gotta let me know. I can let them know and we can make a change and they can do some cool stuff for you. And the cool thing is that they told me they are working on more of these kind of things and they're gonna come out with more sets later on this year. You know, there's not much more to it. That's about it. You're seeing everything in front of you. It looks nice, right? Let me put it next to one other set and see how it compares. So this is the pet store from Lego with the Wange architecture style. What do you guys think? Not really. What if I rotate it like this way? Yeah, it kind of, Kind of has to go diagonal in a way, huh? Looks better. I, you tell me, man. You want to put this in your city? Good job, Wange. We're doing something new and different and original. I want more modular cities, please. So there it is. That's the French Country Lodge from Wange. Do you like it? What do you think? I love it so much, but you got so much more to review. Just hurry up and end this now. We do have more. We have a lot more sets from them that I'm building right now. I got to get to it. So until then, thank you guys so much. Break me out. Good riddance, and I hope you never come back. Damn, dude, your table, your back is all wobbly. Man, look at this guy. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Yeah. And you can just like, look at that. Gaping hole. And this is probably. Oh, what? I just skipped the sign off. Am I too close to here? Move away from me. Slide over. Damn it, dear, your head's too big. Forgive me! My anaconda don't! What? My anaconda don't! What? My anaconda don't, don't want, want none unless you got fun, son! Slap my ass! Gotta get in the mood, yo. Thank you so much, guys, for liking Scotty's YouTube channel. And don't forget, subscribe here, watch the other videos here, and watch even more videos you might not have seen over here. So take care, you guys. I love you so much. Please come back. Don't leave me here. 
I'm suffocating with this guy. Goodbye. Goodbye. No.